This is how you make magic milk. Isn't it cool? I'm gonna show you how to do it so you can play too. First, you wanna pour some milk into a small dish. You don't need a lot of milk. The best thing to use is whole milk because it has the most fat in it. Then, you add a few drops of food coloring. Use all the colors that you wanna see swirl. This is red. This is blue. This is yellow. And this is green. You wanna get the color all around so it looks cooler. Last, you add a tiny drop of liquid soap. You really don't wanna add too much. Just dip it into the soap and let it drip into the milk. And this is where the magic happens. Abracadabra! The colors are swirling around like crazy. It's like liquid tie-dye. The science is that the soap is chasing the fat in the milk. And as it chases the fat, it swirls the colors. Important tip, do not stir the milk. If you mix it up, it stops working. Abracadabra, you've got magic milk. Growing watercolors. We made growing watercolors. It grew from this to this. Isn't it cool? We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. All you need is a bowl of water, some paper towels, and some markers. First you need paper towel and then cut it up into strips so that it eventually will look like this. Once you have your strips, you're going to draw your design. Use markers. Draw anything you want about an inch above the bottom of the paper towel. You have to leave space at the bottom for the paper towel to go into the water. I think I'm gonna make a rainbow. I'm gonna try to make an, a little illusion. Once your design is done, you're going to dip it in the water, but remember not to put your design in the water. The water will come up the paper towel to meet your colors. It's prettier than I actually thought it would be. I'm seeing the colors just crawling up the paper towel with the water. Look, mine are starting to like almost kind of like merge together and it's like becoming this beautiful like rainbow kind of. Yeah, me too. It might take a little long, but it will turn out well. It's so cool how the colors come together. The water really changes your picture. If you keep holding your paper towel in the water, the picture will keep growing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It's so cool. Only a little bit longer until I can hang mine up and let it dry. I'm going to make sure that the water goes all the way to the top of my design. Now we're gonna put them up and let them dry. You wanna try to lay them flat on a flat surface. Like a pan. And remember, while it's drying, it's still going up the colors. And that's a growing watercolor. How to make a rainbow rain cloud. This is how you make a rainbow rain cloud. You need shaving cream, food coloring, and water. First, you fill a clear vase with water. It helps if it's a vase and it's narrow, not a big bowl. Then you need to add shaving cream on top. When it makes that noise, shake it. It looks kind of mm, like a cloud, kind of. Make a big pile of shaving cream. The shaving cream will float on top. I think it's ready. Then you add some water to some small cups. Just a little bit, don't fill it up. Next, get your color ready. Just a little bit of water with food coloring in it. Then, pour your colored water into your cloud. Just pour a little bit. I'm doing purple. Try to put a color on each side, so then there's more explosion. I added blue. No, 
Now I want to add some red. It's swirling. It takes a little while to soak through the shaving cream. Then the colors go into the water. It's going down really slow, like in slow motion. It's very pretty. And it looks like colorful rain coming out of a cloud. It's so cool. Whoa. And that's how to make a rainbow rain cloud. How to make crawling colors. We're going to show you this cool color experiment so you can play too. All you need to start with are five glasses and some water. First, pour some water into three of the glasses. You want them to be in a pattern. Water, empty, water, empty, water. This one, this one, and this one. The glasses need to be the same size and clear so you can see the rainbow. Then you're going to add your color. If you want to make a rainbow, make your first one red. Make the middle one yellow. And you make the last glass blue. These are three parts of the rainbow. I added about three drops in it. And now you're going to mix it with a spoon. Then you're going to add your paper towels. Start with half a piece. Fold it or roll it. It should look like this. Then cut it in half. Then put the paper towel into the red water and bend the dry end into the empty glass. So then you add more paper towels to every cup. The colored water is going to crawl into the empty glass through the paper towel. The yellow is going to mix with the red. It's going to make orange. And the blue is going to mix with the yellow, and that's going to make green. It's going to take a long time, so you have to have a lot of patience. Mm. While we're waiting, do the wave! <laughs> Jumping jacks! One, two, two. think big thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot! After you've played some fun games, check on your rainbow. Wow! The longer you wait, the more colored water will travel over. I can't believe they crawl over into the empty glass. The paper towel is kind of like a bridge because the water goes over the bridge into the empty cup to make really cool colors. And that's how you make crawling colors. How to make marbleized paper. We made this cool paper. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need a baking tray, and then you need some shaving cream. Just get regular shaving cream that's white. Make sure it doesn't have any aloe vera and no gel cream. Fill the tray with the shaving cream. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Once the tray is filled with shaving cream, you have to smooth out the top. You can use your hands, or a ruler, or even a mixing spoon. You really want the top very smooth so that when you press down your card, it's not bumpy or anything or there's clumps on it. Then you're going to add your food coloring. I've decided that I'm going to use red first. Think about colors that you'd like to see together. And then drop the food coloring close together. Then you use a toothpick to marble the top. Marble is a sort of funny word because it doesn't have anything to do with little balls of glass. When you marble something in art, it means you gently mix a dark color into a light color. You gently use a toothpick to mix the color in. Once the colors are mixed, you're ready to put on your paper. Don't use regular paper because it will get too wet with the shaving cream. Use a note card or any other heavy paper. Press it right on top of the shaving cream right on the colorful spot you want. When you're pressing it in, you're putting the ink on the card. Don't press it to the bottom, just press it lightly on top of the shaving cream. Then peel it gently out. And then scrape the shaving cream off of the card. Whoa. What's left behind is the beautiful pattern of marbled food coloring. This is so cool. Finally, when you're done, it's gonna look like this. And that's how you make marbleized paper.